You can order the sway bar and links used in the video from carparts.com through the link in the description. Turn your engine off and set the parking brake. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels. To be able to change the sway bar end links on your vehicle, you need to remove the wheels to gain complete access to the suspension system. Lift the front of your vehicle. Place the vehicle on the jack stands. We strongly suggest watching our video on how to jack your Honda Accord safely before carrying out this step. Don't forget to put the wheels under the vehicle. You can now see your car's end link. The components to be removed are very often seized up, so don't hesitate to brush and use penetrating oil to make removal easier. Turn the brake disc inward to make this operation easier. Using a 15mm wrench, unscrew the nut from the lower ball joint. Use a 5mm Allen key to keep the ball joint from rotating. The end link connects the sway bar to the lower control arms to keep the wheels firmly on the ground at all times. Repeat the operation on the upper ball joint. You can now remove the link. Hey, it's Alex from carparts.com. If you enjoyed this video and want to support us, like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, back to work. You can order the sway bar end link used in the video on carparts.com through the link in the description. Take the new link and unscrew the nuts supplied with it. Install it in the sway bar, then in the lower control arm. Then screw the nuts back in by hand at first. Screw the nuts back on until they make contact using a 15 millimeter wrench. Tighten the nuts with a torque wrench. Then you will be able to put the wheels back on your vehicle. Put the car back on the ground and block the wheels properly. Operation complete.